Yeah, go down a little bit further. What we'll do is make yeah, a little bit further. And here. So what I'll do is dig up a few more like here. Put that right there. A Papa. Now let's get on top to see where that is exactly. Well, apparently that's where I did some mining for either iron or coal. Some resources. Nice fresh resources. Now where is that hopper? Can't be too far. Ah, there. Why is that off? Oh, I went straight from the... I went straight from the... No, I did do the staircase. What the heck? Oh, I was off right here. I went through that way. That's an oops on my part. Well, it's not too bad. I was going to take out the, most of the walls anyway, eventually. To do some redesigning. Well, decorating, I should say. Not too sure what I want to do for the design, but it was going to be fancy to some degree. For now, let's just hook up all these hoppers. The main thing you should note is that the hoppers, even though they don't have a chest underneath themselves, but since I was currently facing one of the hoppers when I was connecting the hoppers all together, they're now all filtering into that center where the chest is. So when I stop putting chickens in, all the chickens will be going into that same hopper. Fun. So let's just keep. No, I don't want to keep a torch there, right there. And then we want to. I'll just do that for now. It'd be easier for me to look up and throw chicken eggs in. And that's okay. And we definitely need more coal, since, you know, just starting out still. Need every single drop possible. <sighs> By the way, I did not sleep at all. Spent the entire night watching videos. And I'm probably going to take a nap or something, or just stay up even longer. Or torture that prevent mobs from spawning in that little crevice. A hole. Whatever you want to call it. Space. I do find it interesting that it doesn't show the eggs being thrown all the time. It doesn't show them getting hit, crashing and exploding anywhere. And that's not good. I didn't get a single chicken. Got two eggs left. To make this work, we need at least one chicken. We need a single one. Jeez. I'm gonna have to farm a chicken. Or we'll camp him. And then it's during night time again. Jeez. Oh, well, this has been like the worst day. So, well. Not really, because I don't really care too much about a couple eggs that didn't successfully work for me. I can always get more. But that was supposed to be like a nice quick farm because I pretty much thought, well, one and eight, sixteen eggs, bound to get two. At the very least. So why not? And then I was going to hook up some pistons just press the button once, crush them all. Each get some quick, um, you know, chicken meat. This way, it doesn't matter how many chickens you have there, you don't have to waste your durability of weapons to kill the chickens yourself. You can just press the button and blammo. Quick.
quick and easy meat. Obviously, the pistons were going to be for later. And then if I ever wanted to clean them out, I can just jump in there, whack with my sword, clean them all up myself. Oh. Let's go in here and throw a torch down. Instead of walking by here in the future, we don't have to worry about any possibilities of mobs spawning in that little tunnel. Usually I'm not too worried about taking damage. Oh, there's a chicken. Mm. Oh, there's an egg. I feel like I want to throw it now to see if it is an egg. I know that's going to be a waste. Let's check the egg right now. How are we going to get the chick back to the base? Who knows? <laughs> That wasn't the problem. It was the entire fact of checking the eggs. We don't actually need to think about the consequences of checking it immediately. Because that would be an intelligent thing to do, is think about the consequences. It was a waste of time coming in here. Um, I'm going to bother trying to light that up. Alright, we did get some eggs. Five. Seeing how bad my chances were previously, I think I got some good luck within the next five eggs. Should have one chick, and that's all I really need. It's just one chick. Because once that chick gets fully grown, well, at that point, it's just the waiting game. Backtrack. <sighs> Plenty of sheep, too. Mm. Only bad thing is that the only biome I see around here is just the taiga. I don't see anything else. I would like a swamp to get slimes easier. I would like a desert to see the new zombies. I would like, same thing with the snow biome, see the new snow skeletons. I would like this, I would like that, I would like a million things, I would like a million bucks. I don't know what I would do with a million bowls. <laughs> Four dollars. Hey, if this streaming business gets off to a good start, just making YouTube videos, that'd be great too! Yeah! Hmm. Back down the hole. Back down the hole. Back down the hole. Finally down the hole. Get my chick eggs out. Throw the eggs. Are you serious? <sighs> Going back up. This is probably the most boring first episode ever. Because most people are like, well, this is where I'm going to put my house. This is where I'm going to like do my intro designing and blueprinting. And I'm like, I already have all that done for you guys. So you don't have to be bored to death by that, but now you're being bored to death by me just going back and forth trying to get chickens. <laughs> oh yes. The thrills of trying to collect eggs. And is this music a little bit loud? It is a little bit loud. That's just quiet that down a bit. See, I don't mind monsters being loud because in a way, they make a lot more of the fun and interesting part of the game is hearing all of a sudden a loud zombie just suddenly and you just turn around seeing him right in your face 
if he's too quiet, he won't be able to hear them kind of sneaking up on you. You just start taking damage and be like, oh, well, I'm not so surprised anymore. I have to live with whatever happened, but I think it's a little bit more scary when you don't know where they are completely. Once they start hitting you, you well, can't really get scared, or you could, but you just get a single jump. I like the fact that you could be always on your toes from hearing something, but not knowing where he is exactly. Anyways, that's how I am anyway. I can usually, um, take on any problem head on once I actually see it, or know where it is, without too much panic or issue. I heard another egg, I thought. Ah, oh, there it is. But just checking the time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Scratch, 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 scratch. Let me know if people get sick by watching me, like, move around quickly. Because I think I do move around quickly. So I know I'm. Um, one of my other friends said that she felt s sick watching most people play games and that's why she didn't want to play like some games before she thought she would get seasick or car sick whatever sick motion sickness from playing shooters and apparently that's not the case with minecraft with her when she plays minecraft I guess it's just watching other people play gets you sick. But I can understand. Because you are not in control. In fact, I might just not have any of this being shown in the actual video. Because it's kind of boring watching me run back and forth for just some chicken eggs. And if this is like 20 minutes of just freaking chicken eggs. The chicken eggs is going to be all its own episode. I'm not going to waste your time being like, Oh, let's... I don't want to watch this episode because all he watches is chicken eggs. All he talks about is chicken eggs. Like, no. Uh, I'll just tell you go to the next video. Because the title of the episode would be like... This, a starter's chicken eggs. I'm hoping it's not gonna be like 20 minutes long because the, the Minecraft dates didn't even go by that much. Let's try throwing it. No. We have to throw it right there. Why aren't is any of you working? It's gonna piss me off. Um, you know what? We'll just get some seeds. We'll just bring a couple chickens over. Why am I coming in here? Have I gone insane? Yeah. I started making YouTube videos. Of course I've gone insane. And why didn't you drop any seeds? Ugh. My life is full of pain and agony. Because these darn chickens. It's usually not that big of an issue. You just go... Get the chicken eggs. Throw a couple. And you're done. That's how they always were. No, it's like, oh, you're streaming a video. <laughs> Let's make this as difficult as possible. Because it would just make too much sense to make it easy. I was about to use that third seed again. But now I refrained. Um, I remember killing a whole bunch of chickens over there, so that's why I kept going back over there. And there goes the sun. <sighs> back down. Uh, do we got any junk? Eh, we do got plenty of stone. Dump off the stone. I forgot we had this here. The entire idea of this was to make it just a little bit easier coming down here. 
not a whole lot easier, just a little bit easier. And just mining that away a little bit, just so we don't bump our heads as we go up and down the stairs. Yeah! Let's pop that. Just, yeah, we don't need that dark look either. Someday we'll redesign this entire place. Or just go ahead and make this new house somewhere. I was thinking about making all this dirt right here just mossy cobblestone. That mossy cobblestone right there was where it initially was to begin with. So that wasn't placed, that was actually na natural generation. And I just went in the middle of it and just dug straight down. So yeah, fun. Yep. Alright. So we're gonna go. Maybe if we got a couple of chickens. If we're doing this, we're just trying to get as much as possible right off the bat. And see how many can follow. Because the main issue is some chickens are probably going to get stuck, they're going to get lost, they're not going to follow completely 100% faithfully. Oh, there's an egg right over there. Assuming we lose all of them, might as well just use the eggs that we can collect. They're doing a good job keeping up so far. You know what? I bet these eggs will suffice, actually. These eggs probably would. Oh, yeah, I heard an egg. I don't see any, though. But I do see one over there. Oh, that was probably the egg I heard. Alright, buddies. Follow me. Follow me to your demise. Because you want a single seed. All of you. You all want a single seed. For your lives. And yeah, that's how most people are. They want so much for so little. What they consider to be little, which is a lot to other people. Come here, chickens. You can just fly off. Okay, there you go. Going to save. You don't freaking fly off. It'd be highly annoying. Follow me, my chickens. Follow me. No, I'm pie. I'm going to just cut off the recording right at the point we get the chickens to the base and into the hopper area. See, we lost one already. I knew we would lose a couple. But that wasn't the entire point. I am probably going to throw the eight. Eight eggs anyway to see what we get. Maybe we will get a um a chick a chick regardless. That's right. Come over here. Come little chickies, come little chickies. Ah, uh, the trouble is getting them into the hole. The good thing is, once they get up here, the any all mobs consider trap doors to be a block, so they'll walk over an open trap door, thinking, "Oh, this is clear to go," and there they go. One after another, they'll fall because they're looking at it as, as a regular. Just a regular 
block. They don't know that's not a block at all. My problem is, if they go down further, it's going to cause me more issues. Alright. You guys gotta stop following me some more. Why did I hear chicken being pain? What the heck did he do? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if I see any other chickens anyways else. I'm probably just going to, um, butcher them anyway. Alright, you guys be good in here. You guys be good in there, I said. Alright, let's go and find the other chickens now. The good thing about if you hear chickens be in pain, that usually indicates that they died. If you see any, um, you know, chicken supplies laying around. Such as bone meal. No, why am I saying bone meal? Feathers or chicken meat. That usually means they died. I'm guessing one pipe suffocated right there. I'm guessing it's right there because I put that. I designed that right there specifically for spiders. So that if a spider tries to climb up. There's a small chance he'll get stuck underneath instead and drown. Yep. I purposely tried to drown a spider. I was thinking of making a staircase so they'll get they'll go underneath the base when drank it up. Alright, now I'm just curious, would we actually get a baby chicken? Yeah. We would have got two, but the first one would have suffocated right off the bat. But yeah, it actually worked. We would have gotten one successful boo chicken. But now the good thing is, by the time that boo chicken grows, we should have plenty of other eggs. So now we would have um plenty of eggs. Yeah, and I just heard an egg just plop right now. So we already have a successful farm, automatic farm for us. Here we have three XGs. Didn't expect that to be so quick. But that wasn't, the main intention is not for eggs, it's for meat. An easy meat source. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and cut the recording now. So, yeah. Say bye to the chickens for this current episode. Cause mm -mm. they'll be delicious for the days to come. Alright. Bye.